Hey guys, thank you for watching my video and welcome to Art Blast. So today I'm just gonna make one more uh, frame resin art. So everybody really liked the last time, the first video that I made. So this time I also think of uh, making one more video using my uh, one more frame. So if you can see, uh, I already glue using my hot glue gun uh, the back of my frame with my glass. And this is what I'm gonna be using today so I already lay all the materials that I'm gonna be using here like the seashells all different type and I already have this white rocks and and I already spray painted this using uh, just a silver color because that's what I wanted to use it so and I have this from my last project and I also have this small, tiny little crush glass pieces that I have here. So that's also the, what I'm going to be using. And I'm not sure what color I'm going to be using, but I definitely want to use the blue one. I'm not sure about the yellow for now. And of course, resin. And I'm also going to use one more thing, which is not usual. Uh, eggshell so um let me show you how i'm gonna peel my shell so um there is this white thing in the so there is this white thing in center here that's what holding everything i'm just gonna take a piece by piece and i'm just gonna remove it from there so let me take the So I just take my gloves off because it's very hard to remove it. So here what I'm doing, I'm just going to take all of these cracked pieces like that. I'm just going to remove it. So this is what I'm going to be using today so uh, make sure if you are also using i like to let it dry for at least like a 12 hours before i use it with the resin and of course i'm also going to use sand here i saw here i mixed two part of the resin together and i'm just gonna mix it very well And I'm also using this uh, just uh, extra plastic bag from the sea glass that I had here. So, yeah. I don't have uh, any good scissors here with me right now. let's see how I'm gonna lay this so what I like to do is start laying all the pieces on my uh, frame here and see if I like it if I don't I can just move around now so I just like to do this uh, like that so that's I like so sometimes it's very hard to keep this shape so might be move a little bit as you go but that's okay so let's say I want to cut it maybe right here so that's what I'm gonna use let me move this over here so something like this Maybe I'll make it this way. Yep. All right, so I already mixed my resin here. Just 
gonna mix it one more time and I'm gonna take my second cup and I'm just gonna pour maybe just a one uh, tablespoon oopsie that's not what I meant to do but it's okay so I'm just gonna take just a tiny little of this uh, resin just so maybe one and a half tablespoon I guess my frame is very small so I'm not really using whole lots of resin here and I'm gonna take some sand so I'm not really uh, measuring my sand how much I'm taking that but I'm trying to make nice and very thick paste it's like a very it's not runny at all it's like a very goopy and nice and thick that's what i'm trying to make here but if you see it's this is still very very thin so i'm just going to take some more sand here it is like a nice and very very thick now so this is what i'm gonna be using so uh, let me clean that extra sand that i have on my glass here all right so let's say i'm gonna turn my plate this way since i already make a little drop of resin there so all right so let's start i'm just gonna try i'm just taking a tiny little at first and then i'm gonna put it right here <laughs> Alright, so now it's a fun part. And uh, again, I'm just gonna lay this right here and see if I like it or not, but I don't know. Um, let's just put it there and see how it's gonna turn out. And I'm again, my I'm gonna use my that wooden uh, stick that I have here just to see how it's gonna look like. Cut this extra part because I don't like it. So first I want to use my resin before it gets hard. So I'm going to work on my sky here. So for that, um, again, I'm going to use just a blue here, uh, turquoise color, but I don't know about this yellow for now. So I'm just going to take, so this is just an ink that I want to use. Uh, Maybe you can try some other things. I also use acrylic paint and that also works same. Kind of a little bit, but it gets, it's not as clear as you get with the ink. So I'm just gonna just take a tiny little drop. Not even a drop. This is a lot. This is not what I'm gonna use. Maybe tiny, tiny little dot of this color. Oopsie. Yep, I like this. I think this is all I'm going to use. So let me show you in just a sec. Okay, so yeah, this is what I'm going to use. I just love this color. My gosh. Okay, I'm just going to mix it very well. It's, I mean, I can still see that little dot of this color everywhere. So I'm just going to mix it very well here. Okay, so now I don't see any paint there. So... I'm just gonna pour right here but actually I don't want to actually I don't want to go too crazy so I'm just gonna take a little by little and I'm just gonna work on this area slow this color oh my gosh and then I'm just gonna spray it around Okay. 
right here that I have. Let's see if I can do this to get all the way to the edges. And to be honest, I don't really mind having these little um, dots on my frame here. That gives a nice texture, but maybe if you guys don't like it, you can just use a uh, heat gun to uh, pop those bottles. To pop those bubbles. Alright, so I'm done with the hard part. So now, it's a fun part. I like to just, uh, let me close this first. So I like to start laying all the bigger pieces first, which is just uh, sea cells, rocks, and let's see where I want to put my sea cells. Mm, I think I like the back part of this sea cells. I'm just gonna put it. Mm, let's see. Whoopsie. Okay, it's just accident. So I'm just gonna leave it there but i'm gonna turn it around using my this uh the wooden stick that i have okay so let's say i like really this part here so i'm gonna leave it the way it is so I'm also gonna use my different type of sea salts. I also want to add a nice sun here so I'm gonna use my sea salts for that and I'm trying to uh, just create that circle shape but it doesn't have to be perfectly circle I don't want to make any art of my any art that looks so perfect I just hate making anything that looks so perfect so I'm just gonna slightly make it slightly circle Oh, that one so i think this is a good one i think so so let's see i think this is... there you go i think it's cute and i also have this nice um flowers just a glitter flower that i have that i want to use so let's i'm just gonna lay this uh again wherever i want to this looks good Alright, so now I'm going to use my rocks. So again, I already um, spray painted them with the silver silver paint I had. So I'm also using some of just a plain white and some of them just a silver one just to add some uh, colors there. I'm also going to use uh, one of them is painted with the gold, but just a small one, not a big one. I think that's good enough. I don't want to add a lot. Alright, so now I'm going to use my crust mirrors, I want to say, because uh, I just crossed some of the mirror that I have here. So uh, that's what I'm going to be using. So first, I'm just gonna kind of a, add like a little pinch of this color, of this, I'm sorry, of this uh, mirror everywhere. And I also have some um, black sand. It's very nice and thick uh, sand that I'm gonna use. Uh, again, I'm just going to use uh, just a little pinch everywhere, wherever I want to make it slightly darker. Wow, 
let's see if I want to add. So I have like this black area over here because it's a back of the mirror. So I'm just going to turn that piece around. So you have one hour to play with this. All right, to be honest, I don't like the sky. It looks so plain. So I guess I want to add something there. But uh, I'm not sure what. So I have some clear, some clear glass pieces, some clear glass crust that I want to use. So I didn't find the clear glasses but i find this uh it's just a regular plain white glass uh it was i broke some um uh, a cup or something so i keep these pieces so that's what i'm gonna use so um i think it's a good idea i don't know so let's see i'm gonna add this longer pieces if you see this back part is just a uh, part of that it's just a paint i guess <laughs> uh, so this is what i'm gonna use the back part of these uh glass pieces so i'm just gonna see let's say i don't know how it's gonna turn out but i like to try something new it's very long Don't know if I want to use this. Let's see if I can find one more small piece here. My gosh, I just love this. It looks awesome. It looks 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 like everything is now all together. So it's awesome. I just love this. I don't know if I have, uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to add this smaller piece right here or not. It might look a little weird, so I don't think so. I want to add that there. So, let's see if I want to add some more blue over here. Uh, for that, I'm going to use, let's see. Alright, so this is something new that I'm going to try today. Uh, so, I'm going to use this uh, acrylic paint. Uh, I have this purple color so that's what i'm, I'm gonna add right here just to make it more darker so i don't know how it's gonna turn out let's see just experiment right so i'm just gonna add like a tiny little drop of this paint let's see if i have oops it's enough paint so let's see i'm gonna make a little drop right here i know it's hard to see but i'll show you in a second so there is one drop there is one maybe right there so that's all i'm gonna add for now and i'm gonna take my stick and i'm just gonna play around and spread this paint a little bit again i'm not sure how it's gonna turn out but let's see like i said i really want to make it looks like there is some movement on that area Right, so i'm gonna repeat the same thing i think i love it so i'm also gonna repeat the same thing with a little bit of white there i have no idea how it's gonna look but like i said let's see let's try something new I mean, I like 
like it. I'm happy how it turned out. Let's see if I can move my song a little bit in the corner like that. just adding this extra sand just maybe a couple pinch everywhere whatever want to make it looks like it's kind of a little dry sand i don't know what else i can call that i don't know this part looks a little bit empty to me so i'm just gonna add some more white here all right so yep yeah. That's all I'm gonna do here. Uh, I'll... And I'm just gonna let it dry for uh, at least like a 24 hours and then I'm gonna do a little touch test. All right, so again, thank you guys for watching my video today. I hope you enjoy watching this. And um, if you have any question, just leave a comment down below. And um, if you like to see how I Cross these glass pieces and uh, also how I cross my mirror pieces. That's what I use here. I know it's hard to see from far away, but it's like a very tiny little dots there. So that's what I'm using. That gives that nice kind of a glittery look. I know I can also use a glitter. You can also use a glitter if you want to but i thought let me try something new right so uh, just leave a comment down below that you are interested uh looking that video too and i'll make a new video for that so thank you for watching and you know, please like this video if you enjoyed this and don't forget to also subscribe to my channel if you want to get updates on all of my videos and everything so again thank you bye